Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Campbell again. I've got a new book to read today. It's called Chameleon's Colors, written by Chasato Tashiro. Turn to the title page. Where do you think this story will take place? At, in the city? On a farm? Really? I don't know. What do you think? This is the title page. Can you see the chameleon on the log? On the tree branch? Chameleon's Colors. It's translated by Marianne Martins. That means that the author wrote it in another language. And somebody had to write it in English for us. Chameleon was always changing colors. No matter where he went, his skin would change from brown to green, from green to yellow, all to match his surroundings. Sometimes even his best friends would walk right by without seeing him. They would think he was a piece of wood, a leaf, a yellow flower, or even a stone. Oops, sorry, Chameleon. Hippo almost stepped on him. I didn't even see you. I know, said Chameleon. No one ever sees me. I'm sick of it. I think it would be fun to change colors, said Hippo. What? Chameleon was surprised. Look at Chameleon here. He's pink like the flowers. So, day after day, the hippo said, I'm the same old muddy gray. I wish I could be a different color. Well, if that is what you really, really want, said Chameleon, and he grabbed some pink blossoms and stomped on them and splashed the juice all over Hippo. That's fabulous, said Hippo. Now I'm pink like you. Chameleon smiled happily. And then he had a great idea. That night, Chameleon stayed up late collecting flowers and fruit and leaves, and he squeezed out their juices and mixed them in little coconut shells. He couldn't wait until morning. What do you think he might be going to do with all that paint? Let's see. I can't wait to find out. Chameleon's colors! Bear or flea, tell me what color you want to be. Chameleon sang as loud as he could. The wind carried his voice throughout the jungle. And soon the animals began to arrive. Here comes a lion and a... So where are? where is this story taking place? In the jungle. And look what color he paints the animals. What would you like, Chameleon called? Choose your style, striped, polka dot, checkered, flowered, any pattern under the sun. What a great idea, the Chameleon said the animals, and they all went home colorful and happy. He had become the most popular animal in the whole jungle. See the giraffe and the rhino and the zebra are waiting their turns. I wonder what color they will be. Oh my goodness. It's night now to see the moon. And there's the elephant. And all the animals in all different beautiful colors. But guess what? There's a problem. The next day the lion started complaining. These colors are a big mistake. I'm hungry, but I can't even tell the difference between a zebra and a hippo. How am I supposed to recognize my dinner? Lion is right, hissed the snake. I can't hide in the grass anymore. You can see my bright red skin from a mile away. There he is. See how bright he is? Soon all the other animals were complaining too. Life was much easier with our old colors. Now everything is messed up and it's all your fault, Chameleon. Change us back. And they rushed toward him angrily. There's Chameleon. He's painted himself all different colors too. That's not very nice. They asked to be those colors, didn't they? They chased him to the edge of a cliff and trembling Chameleon closed his eyes turned the color of the rocks, and then waited. But look what's coming. Do you see? 
What do you think might happen next in the story? What comes with gray clouds? You're right. Suddenly, a clap of thunder roared through the sky, and huge sheets of rain poured down, washing the colors off the animals. Chameleon breathed a sigh of relief. <gasps> when the sun came out, the jungle was back to normal. The stripes were on the zebras instead of the lion, and the chameleon was back to normal too, changing into brown and green, from green to yellow, all to match his surroundings. Just the way it's supposed to be. And there he is looking blue on the leaf in the moonlight. Everything looks blue at night or dark. And I see a chameleon there. And there's a chameleon there. And there, they're all camouflaged. The end. I hope you liked that story, boys and girls. Wasn't it wonderful? The animals all had to learn the hard way that it's good to be yourself. And I hope that you are going to be happy with who you are. See you next time.